Hey, this is Eric Hunter, and I want to show you how to make a pendulum necklace. So a lot of people ask me, how do you turn your pendulum into a necklace or a pendant? And you can do this, and it's really easy to do. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, it's very simple. So the first thing is that there are basically two different kinds of pendulums you're going to encounter out there. And let me uh, get these up for you here. So the first one is gonna be like this ISIS pendulum and the string goes to the top and you have to unscrew the top in order to change the string because you're gonna need to change the string to turn it into a necklace. The other kind is like this Orion pendulum here where there's a loop on the top. So almost all of the pendulums that I custom design have this loop on the top. So it makes it very easy to change the string, but you know, if you have one of these, no fear, I'm going to show you how to do it as well. All right, so first step is you need a really good pendulum. You want a pendulum with really good energy. Generally, you want one that either has a resistant coating on it or, is the, or you can polish it. So either like a brass pendulum or a silver pendulum that you can polish if it tarnishes or one like this Orion that has rhodium coating plus lacquer. This one is, a, is pretty sturdy. So if you wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, it's gonna take a while for it to get worn. Um, if you use a gold plated one that's not protected or the gold plating is kind of thin, it could wear off very quickly. Another thing is if you wear your pendulum as a necklace, just realize that it might get some damage on it. It might get worn surfaces, moisture might affect it. So it may not cosmetically look as nice as you'd like it to if you wear it all the time, but it won't affect the energy that much. It still will be usable. It just won't look beautiful. And the energy would be slightly off if you're like a clairvoyant or clairsentient. So that's just the one caveat. You wear a pendulum as a necklace all the time. Just realize it may get a little worn the finish. All right. So how do you do this? So the first step is you need string, well, a pendulum, then second step is you need string. So with a pendulum like this Isis, you're gonna need a thinner string, like a one millimeter cotton cord, wax cotton cord. Um, for the Orion, you could use a thicker. The thickest you'd use is 1.5 millimeter or maybe two millimeter. So you need to determine if you want the string thinner, use one millimeter. If you want it a little thicker, you could probably get away with 1.5 millimeter. All right, so the next step is you gotta get the old string off. So just take a pair of scissors and boom, just chop it right off. All right, we'll do this one first. So now you've got this pendulum and has no string on it. So how do you make the necklace? Well, this is gonna be a very simple necklace. So the, it has to be big enough to fit over your head. So like if you want to get a rough, like let's say you want the necklace to be small, like kind of make it so that it will just barely fit around your head and add a little extra on, all right? So, so in this case, that's gonna be like, you know, a little over two feet. So you can experiment, you can always make, you can always make it a little longer and then cut it. So you, or you can also just like kind of hold it down to your chest and kind of let it go down and see like approximately where do you want the pendulum to hang off from? And you can give yourself a little extra. Okay, once you've done that, cut the excess string off. Now you're gonna take this string and you're gonna put it through your pendulum. So it's kind of even, you just put it through the hole in this case. Then let's put it around my neck and kind of get a feeling for like where I want this to go. So I'm gonna have it go like around here, sort of, you know, not too far down, but, but far enough that like, that's kind of cool, you know? All right, so I kind of mark that with my hands back here, all right? Now take the string and to make this a little easier, you could just make it even, just cut the two off. So here is how I do it. This is the special sauce, the trick. I just take the two ends of the string and I just wrap them over each other like two or three times. Then I take these two ends and I wrap them over each other two or three times. And then I just pull this whole thing closed. So you can see, I'll start to pull it closed. You can just see what it looks like. Ah, it's hard to do on camera, of course. So when you're doing this at home, you know, 
if you're if you think this is too easy then just start filming yourself and make a youtube video about it then you'll you'll make it more challenging for yourself okay so there we go so you just pull the ends and you just pull it and try to make it even when you pull it this will make a really super tight knot that's almost impossible to undo then you just take your scissors trim off the excess and now you have your pendulum as a necklace. So this is kind of a longer one. You could make it shorter, but remember the size of your head is gonna limit how short you can make it using this style. Now, before I show you how to do the ISIS, let me show you something really cool about having your pendulum as a necklace, especially if it's a smaller pendulum. So let's say you're out in public and you wanna do some pendulum alchemy or pendulum healing but you don't want everyone to see you doing it, what you can do is you can just take your pendulum, kind of cover it, and then you can secretly do pendulum commands. Be like, you know, raise the consciousness of everyone to the highest level possible, send everyone love and healing, and your hand can hide the pendulum. Now this works really well with those micro pendulums and the mini pendulums, but you can even do it with one of these bigger pendulums, and you can be pretty discreet with it, you know, you just kind of like, kind of lean over or even just pretend like you're playing with your necklace a little bit people might think you're a little weird but you're wearing a pendulum so you know th they'll accept a lot from you probably all right so that's how you do that one all right let me show you the other one now the isis has the screw top so the first thing i do is get the old string out of there so just cut it off it's easy to do then you need a tool like a paper clip to push the old string out of the hole. So I just take the little paper clip and I just poke it right out here. Boom, so now the string is out. All right, just put this on the side. Now the next step is you need to get the string and I dropped the roll of string on the floor while doing the video, but now I've got it, so we're good. Okay, so very similar procedure. You know, just, just eyeball it how, how long you want it to be roughly, okay? Doesn't have to be exact, you can figure it out later, just kind of get a ballpark estimate. Now here is the, the way this one differs. This one, you've got to, oops, if you don't drop it, you've got to tie a knot in the middle. So you take the string and you have the two ends and then make them so they're even. Like just figure out where the, where the two ends will join to make the string even. Okay, now it's even. So then you take this part in the middle here and you tie a very simple knot, just make a loop, just make a loop knot. Okay, so you've got your first loop knot and it's in the middle of your string approximately. So here is the string and the loop knot is approximately in the middle of the string right here. Okay, now you have to make one more loop knot over the previous one. So you just take, you just make a very, very simple knot, just a loop. And then you just slowly pull it so that the new loop forms on top of the old loop and gently push it with your fingers if it's not going it the way you want it to go. All right. Now you have a double knot, which is pretty thick. And here is the trick to this one. So you get the two ends that you had before and you're gonna stuff those two ends into this hole on the bottom here of the Isis pendulum top. So you just take this here, take these two and you just sort of stick them in. If you do it right, you'll get one and then the other. So they, now they're in. So then you just pull this through, pull it through. And now you can take this part, screw it on, and see, voila, now you have the two ends for your necklace. So then you just put it around your neck where you want it. I'll make this one a little shorter. You put it like where you want it, and this kind of mark it with your finger. So you just kind of Take your fingers on the back, I don't know if you can see that, take your fingers on the back of your head and just kind of grab the ends of the string and then you can kind of undo it. So now I've got the two ends and make sure that the two ends are, are even. So wherever you marked it on the string, make sure the pendulum is hanging evenly and you're gonna, you're gonna mark it there. Now you can cut off the excess, you know, 
Then we're gonna do the same thing again. You take the two ends of the string, you wrap it around itself like three times. You take the, here you take this and you wrap it around itself a few times. Then you just slowly pull it tight, slowly pull it tight. Then you cut off the excess. And then you wear it and you become the envy of all of your friends who have pendulums. And they're like, how did you make that necklace? And you're like, well, I watched Dr. Hunter's video. <laughs> no, seriously, this is super cool. It's super easy to do. People ask me to do this all the time and I just do it. So um, if you ever want one of my pendulums turned into a necklace, just send me a message when you place your order and I'll gladly do it for you. If not, just if you get the urge comes on you, like maybe you have a pendulum, you've been using it a lot, you wanna try something a little different. It's easy to do, go ahead and just give it a try. It's fun, you can make a really simple little necklace and you can just wear it around. And like I said, you can do discrete pendulum healing with it. Or you just have it available like, you know, at all times, just like pick it up, start going, start doing your pendulum command, sending love and healing, helping the world be a better place. Okay, well, I hope that this video was useful and that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching it. Please post your questions and comments below. Thank you, bye.